Hi, everybody. Today, let's look at 7.2, parallel line and perpendicular line. So if the questions tell you there are two straight lines and they are parallel to each other, then you have to know they have the same gradient. Okay, so we can go another way as well. If the uh, if two straight line having the same gradient, that means they are parallel to each other. So remember, parallel, same gradient, same gradient means that they are parallel to each other. Okay, so now mm, let's proceed to number three. So this is another formula that we can use to find the equations of a straight line. Always remember. If you are asked to find the equation of the straight line, we need two information. The first one is gradient. Then always will be represent, uh, represented by m. And the second thing is one point. And remember, you need to use the point which lie on the straight line that you are going to find the equation for. For example, if you have a straight line over here, A and B, and the questions give tell uh, the question tell you that the gradient of this straight line is equal to two, and then we have two points given by the question, which is here and here. So just let it be uh, C and D. So let's say this is two five, and this point is five five. Okay, so now we are given the gradient, the gradient of this straight line, and we have two points over here. So the question asks us to find the equations of this straight line. So how do we get the equations of this straight line? So we have gradient and we have two points over here. But be careful, we cannot use this point to help us to get the equation of this straight line because this point is not on this straight line. Now, we are asked to find the equation for this straight line. We need to use the point which fall on this straight line. Okay, let me show you. Okay, I will use y equal to mx plus c first uh, to, get the, to help us to get the equation of this straight line. That one you learned before in Form 3. I think you should, be, uh, you should still remember, right? Okay, y equal to mx plus c. This is a gradient, which is given by the question two. This is a y-intercept, we don't know. We need to find ourselves. Okay, y equal to two x plus c. We almost get a complete equation for this straight line, but we still don't have the value of c. So what's the next thing we need to do is get one point that we know uh, the coordinate and we need to put plug in the value over here and here to help us to get the value of c. So in this case, I have c and d, but we cannot use d because d is not on this straight line. We can only use c. At point c, okay, 2, 5. This is x coordinate. This is y coordinate. So I'm going to plug in these two value into here and here. y is equal to 5. 2x, x is equal to 2 plus c. So 5 is equal to 4 plus c, and c is equal to 5 minus 4. Okay, so c is equal to 1. And don't forget to write a complete equation as your final answer. y is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay, so be uh, besides using this formula, we have another formula. When we have the gradient, at one point, we can use this formula to help us to get the equation y, uh, y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So at the beginning, I would suggest you to write this formula for a few times so that you can remember this formula well. y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Okay, so the question tells us that the gradient is equal to 2. So I'm going to plug in the 2 over here. y minus y1 is equal to 2 x minus x1. Okay, so the next thing, I need to use one point. Remember, when you want to find the equation of a straight line, always two things, gradient 
one point. Okay, so at point C two five. This is X. This is Y. Y I just copy and Y one I'm going to plug in this value here. Okay, this is okay. Let me write the five again. Five is equal to two x minus x one, which is equal to two. So here I'm going to do some expansion. Open up this parenthesis. Y minus five is equal to two x. Positive, negative, you get negative four. Okay, then we just try to simplify it. Negative five, bring over here become positive five. Okay, so next thing is uh, this two we still can simplify, right? We can minus or plus negative four plus five will give you plus one. Both will give you exactly the same answer. Okay, so besides using y equal to mx plus c, you can use this formula as well. Y minus y one is equal to m uh, is equal to m x minus x one. Okay. So remember two things when you want to find the equation of a straight line gradient one point just now we learned about parallel line right so i told you if the two lines are parallel to each other means that they have the same gradient now we learn about perpendicular line if let's say we have two lines and they are perpendicular to each other means that they form a right angle over here which is 90 degree the product of their gradient, okay, so the gradient for this straight line is represented by m1. The gradient of this straight line is represented by m2. In this case, they are perpendicular to each other. That's, uh, you see a 90 degree over here. So the product of their gradient will equal to negative 1. But you might be a little bit curious why the product of their gradient will be equal to negative 1. If they are perpendicular, uh, if they are perpendicular to, to each other, okay. Let me do a quick explanation to you about this theory. Okay, now I have a, I have two straight line which are perpendicular to each other. Let me represent the gradient for this straight line. Be uh, let me use m one to represent the gradient for this straight line, and m two to represent the gradient of this straight line. So I need to add a little bit line over here. Okay, I think I just use dotted line. Okay, I need to draw. Uh, I need to draw two triangle. Okay, assume that this is a right angle triangle. Okay, so this is a, a right angle triangle. Okay, let me label the point over here. So let's say this is O and let's say this is A and this is B and this is C this is over here this is D okay let me give uh, you some letter to represent the length of each side let's say this is P and this is Q this is um, H this is K so now these two triangles, they are actually similar triangle. So how do I know that these two triangles are similar? Uh, are similar? Okay. If let's say um, here is A, so I think you should be no problem to get the uh, the size of this angle, right? Because the sum of the interior angle of a triangle will be always equal to one eight o. Here taken 90, so these two add up together must be equal to 90 as well, so that you will get 180 for all for the sum of the interior angle of this triangle. So here must be 90 minus A, correct? Okay, so mm, now let's go to this part. I don't know this. I just let it be X. Since that they here form a straight line. I know that A plus 90 degree plus X will give us 180, right? Okay, 
So um, I want to try to represent the x by a in terms of a. I want to express the x in terms of a. So x is equal to 1, 8, 0, minus 90 degree, minus a. So I will get uh, 90 degree, minus a. Okay, so this is 90 degree. So now I know that x is actually equal to 90 degree minus a. So I'm going to replace the x by using this. 90 degree minus a. Same thing happened here. These two add up must be equal to 90. If this is 90 minus a, here must be a, right? Okay, now look at their initial angle. 90 minus a, a, 90 degree. They have exactly the same initial angle. So this means that the triangle uh, O A B O A B is uh, a triangle. Let me O A B. So D, this is D, D O C. They are similar triangle, uh, similar to each other. So still remember. Uh, the properties of two similar triangle. The corresponding side, uh, okay. The Q, okay. Now we focus on this side first. Q. Which one is the corresponding side of this Q? So A and 90. So we look for A and 90. Okay, over here. Okay, don't, don't. Uh, this is not the corresponding side. Huh? Uh, you look at here, this is A, this is 90, A, 90. So I know that Q over K will be equal to, okay, so I have to do the same thing now. The corresponding side for here will be equal to here, 90 minus A and 90 degree, 90 minus A and 90 degree, will be equal to P, uh, Q divided by K will be equal to P divided by H. Okay, so any problem for this? So this is one of the properties of similar triangle. And the same thing, this, if let's say I have the, uh, the let's say this is PQ, okay, let's say this is R, and H, okay, let's say this is J. Let me use another uh, letters to represent it. Okay, let's say the length here is t. Okay, same thing here. R divided by t. So all will give you exactly the same answer because they these two triangle are par are similar triangle. Okay, so but in this case, we don't have to focus on this. We only need these two things to help us to prove why their gradient multiplied together will give you negative one. Okay, so now, how do I get the gradient for this straight line? The gradient of this straight line is vertical uh, distance over horizontal distance, which is Q over P. And the gradient for this straight line is equal to vertical distance H over horizontal distance K. But this straight line is inclined downward, going downward like this. We know that the gradient must be negative. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to prove m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. m1 is equal to q over p. m2 is equal to negative h over k. So how do I know these two multiply together will give me negative 1? Hmm. So can I get q over p okay from here let me do a cross multiplication first qh is equal to pk so i want q over p i move the p over here q over p and move the h over here k over h so any problem for this one this i bring it down become divide q divided by p this one bring it down become k divided by h now i know that q over p can be represented by k over h, right? So I'm going to bring, bring this whole thing over here, k over h. Okay, then times negative h over k. So what will happen? You simplify it up, 
right? K and K, H and H, yeah, you have a negative here. So that's why we get negative one. Okay, so remember, if the two straight line, they are perpendicular to each other, the product of their gradient will be equal to negative one. Same thing, if the product of the gradient of two straight line is equal to negative one, that means they are perpendicular to each other. Okay, so I think uh, for this video, I stop here first. I will, in the next video, I will show you more example related to this topic. So see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.